Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Or if you're a new viewer, hi, welcome. My name is Michelle. Thank you so much for coming by to hang out with me today. I'm going to be doing a tag video today. It's called the Beauty Community Tag. This is a tag that was created by another creator here on YouTube. Her name is Kara C. She's somebody that I just recently found. I found her through Britt Clark, through Audra at Home, and from what I can tell so far, she has a lovely channel. She's very well spoken. She is probably around my age, I would say, and she just has a passion for makeup. And quite honestly, when it comes to finding like quality content to watch on YouTube, I'm looking for people with similar interests as mine, people that are truly passionate, people that are here for the community of it. So I really wanted to do this tag video because with the drama, I'm sure that most of you guys have already seen, or maybe you haven't, maybe you haven't heard about it at all. Um, but Shane Dawson released these tweets. I think it was done on his Twitter account, basically talking about how he's done with the beauty community and how everybody's drama queens and it goes on to defend Jeffree Star and just a lot of other contradictory shit. If you've read or heard the tweets, you'll know exactly what I'm trying to, to say. And all I'm going to say is my grandfather used to tell me when I was a kid, if you play with shit, you're going to get it on you. That's all I have to say about that entire situation. But I do want to do this beauty community tag because the beauty community is somewhere that I've really found that sense of community in over the past couple years. When I first started my channel back in the end of 2018, I didn't have, but maybe, I, I could probably count the amount of friends I had on one hand. And that's not because I'm a shitty person, it's because I'm a busy person. I was going to school full time, raising kids, working full time. I didn't have time to socialize, time to be hanging out with friends and whatnot. So when I joined the, YouTube, the beauty YouTube space in 2018, it wasn't just so I could share my passion about makeup. It was so I could feel like I was a part of something. So I could feel like I had other people that I could relate to and that could relate to me and that we could build that community around. So hearing the things that Shane said about the beauty community really kind of pissed me off, to be quite honest with you. Just because it, the way he painted it is not is not at all how it is. It is about togetherness. It's about being uplifting, positivity. And this beauty community tag is a way to share other creators, to uplift others, and just kind of be like a stick it to, you know, the dramatic side of YouTube where it doesn't have any place over here in the beauty community. I have met so many amazing people through here. Um, nobody that I've met in person, but just online. I've met so many amazing people. I have discovered so many incredible channels. Channels that, you know, as soon as they're uploading, I'm there, I'm ready to watch it. And those are the kind of channels that I want to be subscribed to. The ones that make you feel good. The ones that make you feel like you're a part of something. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm doing the beauty community tag. I'm just going to preface this by saying there is no way in hell I'm going to be able to name every single person that I admire on this platform because there are so many just genuinely good-hearted people in this space. So I'm going to name the people that like first came to mind when I heard these questions. I'm going to list all of them down below in the description box. That way you guys can check them out. I'm also going to list Kara's answers down below since she's the one that created this tag. And I feel like everybody that she mentioned, I also, you know, really admire and you know, I really agree with her answers. There are going to be honorable mentions at the end. So if you don't hear your name mentioned throughout like these questions, I am going to link a bunch of other creators down below for you guys to check out. So please make sure you guys take the time to do that. If you are looking for good quality, wholesome content that's drama free and is uplifting and positive, please check these creators out. They are fantastic. So let's go ahead and get started. The first question on here is who is a creator that makes you laugh? I've heard several other people that have done this tag immediately mention Teresa is dead, and I have to agree with that. She is freaking hilarious. Whenever I watch her channel, I'm just laughing the whole video. She does these little story times where she talks about, you know, her job or experiences that she's had, and I don't know if they're like real life experiences or she's making them up just for, you know, the video, but either way, it's absolutely hilarious. And it's just the way she tells the story that kind of keeps you reeled in. And it's just funny. She does it in such a funny way. 
So I had to mention her. I also wanted to mention Better Off Red. She's not somebody that I heard mentioned for this question yet, and she just has this kind of humor that I can relate to. She and I are about the same age. I really admire her and her channel. She's an actual makeup artist, so she kind of knows what she's talking about. But I just like the fact that when I watch her, I usually find myself giggling at little parts throughout her videos, and she doesn't try. She doesn't try too hard. That's just who she is. So I wanted to mention her. And then two bigger creators that I really enjoy that are also really funny are Bailey Sarian. If you guys don't know who she is, oh God, you need to check her out. She is so charismatic. She does like, what is it, Murder, Makeup, and Mystery Mondays. I don't know if I said that in the right order, but such a wonderful series on her channel where she talks about um, different crimes that have happened and while doing her makeup. It's kind of an odd combo, but she does it flawlessly. And she's hilarious. Just very entertaining to watch. The last person in that category would be Jamie French. Jamie, I feel like every video she makes goes viral just because she's hilarious. If you haven't checked her out, go check her out. Number two says, who is a creator that teaches you? A lot of people were naming Robert Welsh and I have to completely agree with that. Robert is a professional makeup artist. He even tells you in his videos that he is here to teach that he wants to kind of sh bring light to the different makeup techniques and teaching people how to not properly do makeup because he does say that, you know, makeup doesn't have rules, but it does have principles. And I've learned a lot from watching Robert. I really enjoy his channel. I just think he is the sweetest person. He's so down to earth. He doesn't get involved in all the drama and the bullshit. Like he watches some of the beauty YouTubers and instead of picking them apart and being negative and saying hurtful things, he actually gives them tips, you know, ways to make their technique better in a way that's just not condescending. I just, I really enjoy his channel. The second person that I wanted to mention was Alexandra Anel. She's got a little bit of a bigger channel, but she's also a makeup artist. So she is very informative when she is filming her videos. She goes into great detail about how to contour, how to blend, how to apply this or that. I really learned a lot watching her. All right. Number three says, who is a creator that lifts others up? I have two for this, and you're going to notice I do have several for each category, mostly. It's so hard for me to pick just one person. So the first person I would mention is Samantha March, and the reason why I mention her is because she makes it a point to talk about very difficult topics on her channel, topics that a lot of creators won't talk about because it's seen as being like taboo, or they're afraid of what other people are going to say, they're afraid of being judged. And I feel like Samantha talks about those things because she wants other people to feel like they're not alone. She wants other people to know that, like, we're all in this together. You don't have to go through this alone. Like, there's other people out there struggling with the same things that you are. And I feel like that really does lift other people up. She has a podcast that's called Start Inspired. Again, totally fits this question. The second person I wanted to mention would be Allie Dawson. I discovered Allie way back before she got a little bit bigger. I think I discovered her before she had 10,000 subscribers. She's very quirky. She's funny. She is just unapologetically herself. And the reason why I say she lifts others up is I actually reached out to her a couple months ago, I believe. And I had asked her a simple question about affiliate links because I'm when it comes to all that stuff, the technical side of stuff on YouTube, I'm just not skilled. I haven't been doing this very long. And I don't know much about it. And I wanted to ask somebody that I knew had already had the experience with all of it. So I didn't know if she was going to even bother responding to me, but she did. And she was very gracious and kind and gave really good advice to me. And then at the tail end of our conversation, she even went as far as to tell me like, you know, you got this girl and don't give up on your dreams. And I just thought, I thought it was so incredibly sweet. So I really wanted to mention her as well. Number four is who is a creator that you respect? The very first person that popped in my mind for this question was Amy from Amy Loves Makeup. Amy, if you are watching this video, the reason why I chose you for this particular category, I have several reasons, honestly. She created a video last year, year before, about, you know, uh, the bad relationship that she went through with her son's father and how it was really hard to get out of that situation. and. I respected her so much for getting, you know, on film and talking about something so vulnerable because it's something that I've also been through. So I really could relate to her with that. Um, another reason why I respect her is because she's partly the inspiration of why I decided to take the jump and start my own channel. When I first started following Amy, she had less than 10,000 subscribers. And 
I just kept telling myself, like, if if this young woman can have a channel and work and take care of a kid, like, there's no reason why I can't do that, too, because I'm also a single parent. So she was a big inspiration for me, kind of giving me that motivation, feeling like I could do this, too. Another reason why I respect Amy is because she's another person that I reached out to when I first started my channel, and I, my video quality was garbage, and I couldn't figure out what I was doing wrong. And I reached out to her and I was like, what? Because I always admired her video quality. And I said, what Like, what am I doing wrong? Your video quality is superb and I don't know what I'm doing wrong. And she took the time to watch a couple of my videos and was like, yeah, I don't know. Like, I, it doesn't give me the option to go past like 340 or whatever the, the low resolution is. And she gave me a little bit of advice and just was very kind. I just feel like Amy is somebody that keeps very true to herself, her values, her beliefs. She just all the way around seems like a, a genuinely good person and I really respect that especially for creators that start to get bigger sometimes you see that shift in those people and they, they just don't act the same way they did when they had a smaller following and Amy is somebody that I have not noticed any kind of change any difference at all with her videos she is the exact same person as she was before she had 10,000 subscribers so I really do respect Amy because of all of those things the next question is who is a creator whose collection you love? Many of us are going to mention Karen Harris because she is an eyeshadow fiend. And I'm somebody that also really loves eyeshadow. So her collection just blows me away. Anytime I see her showcase her Pat McGrath Labs collection, her single shadows from like Tara Moons and Cleona and all of those other indie brands like I drool. She has a stunning collection. Number six says, who is a creator whose creativity inspires you? I have several for this category. The first person that I want to mention is Millie from Bad to the Brow. Millie is somebody I just found not too long ago, and she just has this way with beautiful, vibrant colors. She comes up with these really gorgeous eye looks, very talented, and just very creative. It's something that I admire because I'm just not. I'm not that skilled, not that creative. So I definitely wanted to mention her. The second person I want to mention is Butte Bean, so that's Betty Jean. Betty Jean is one of a kind. She really is. If you've never seen her channel, she just has a way with every look that she comes up with is just flawless. It's stunning, so colorful, so cohesive. I love her channel. I love watching her. I love watching her creativity unfold. And then the last person that I want to mention in this category is Angelica Nikvist. I hope I'm saying that right. If I'm not, I truly apologize. But she is somebody that, again, with the color, she is so skilled with color. She's not afraid to try loud colors and different color combinations. And it doesn't matter what look she does. It looks freaking flawless. So I really wanted to mention her as well. I mentioned those people that are really skilled with color because that's something I admire. That's something that inspires me to like think outside the box and try using more color myself. Okay, the next question is, who is a creator you'd like to be friends with in real life? I ha Honestly, I would die to be friends with any of these people in real life because they all seem so just genuine and kind and supportive. But if I had to narrow it down to, let's just say two, the first person I would mention would be Britt Clark. So Britt Clark is somebody that I just found recently, within the last like two months. I don't know how I stumbled across her channel, but oh good God, am I glad that I did. She's somebody that is so just upbeat, positive. She seems like that type of friend that would just be down for anything. She just has this undeniable love for makeup and I don't know, I feel like we would get along so well. So I'm so glad that I've stumbled across her channel. She has been so supportive to me and my channel and she's just an all around kind, genuine person. So she would definitely be someone that I would want to be friends with in real life. The second person that I want to mention is Debbie from Vinyl Beauty. Now, Debbie is somebody that found me on Instagram soon after I started my channel. And the reason why I mention her is because she is just so sweet. She's always been so supportive to me and my channel. And she's the first and only person that's ever reached out to me to collab with me. Um, and the whole reason why was because she said she wanted, she thought that I should have more subscribers and that I deserved the growth and all this. Like, she was so incredibly kind to me. So, those are the types of friends that you want to have in real life. The ones that are supportive, the ones that 
are rooting for you. They are uplifting. And Debbie is all of those things. So, Debbie, if you happen to see this video, thank you for always being so supportive to me and my channel and just being so kind. Okay, the next question is, who is a creator that you hope to see grow? I mean, I want to see all these people grow. I'm not going to lie. I'd, I'd love to see every single one of these people just blow up. But if I had to narrow it down, I would say Katie Marie. Katie Marie is somebody that actually found me. She's so uplifting and supportive and just, again, a genuine person. She has such a nice channel. She does product reviews, a lot of indie makeup stuff, shot my stash. She has a lot of stuff that she does on her channel. And I just hope that she, she grows and is successful. She definitely deserves it. Okay, the next question is, who is a creator that gives off good vibes? So I have a few that I want to mention here. Um, first and foremost, Jess from Hey Jess. She's somebody that I've been following, I would say probably like six months or so. May I don't know, maybe. I don't know. I mean, what is time? I have no idea anymore. If you watch her channel, you'll see exactly what I mean. She just has this spunk about her. And honestly, it makes me tired watching her. <laughs> in, a, in the best of ways, Jess. Um, she just has a lovely channel, such a good, upbeat, positive attitude, and you can just feel that radiate when you watch her channel. The next person I want to mention is Tasha St. James. I don't know how we found each other either, but again, has a very lovely attitude, just her presence, her charisma. I just think that she gives off really good vibes in her videos. You can just, you can feel it. And I love watching her channel. She does a lot of drugstore makeup, a lot of more affordable options. And you know, while I like my luxury stuff, I like my really bougie shit. I also like to keep myself grounded and watch drugstore videos and, you know, keep those things in my rotation as well. So when I'm looking for those recommendations, when I'm looking for those options, she's one of the people that I will turn to for that. All right, so the last question is, like, what are your honorable mentions? And I have... A whole list of them and again I'm gonna link them down below I'm just gonna name off a couple really quickly just so I can you know shout them out talk about them a little bit Rachel from things by the Burke she's another one I recently found lovely channel she is a makeup enthusiast just like I am and she just seems like such a sweetheart so love her Mary from Mary Makeup and Moods Mary's content is just a little bit different she doesn't do the traditional style videos like I do but that's why I really like watching her. So if you haven't checked her channel out, go check her out. Katie from Makeup for Lost Time. She, she is a handful and I love that about her. She is just so spunky. She is so herself and she does not give two shits what anybody has to think about it. And I love that. I love that about her. She's gone through similar things in her life that I have. So I can relate to her on a really deep level. And I just love her content. She plays with a lot of colorful makeup. She's very talented. And I can admire anybody that has overcome, you know, obstacles that, that she and I have. So, love her. Nikki Raven is another one. She's somebody that I met on here through um, Debbie from Vinyl Beauty. Love her channel. Amanda Rose. Been subscribed to her for quite a while now. And she just, you know, they're drama-free. Drama-free makeup. People that just genuinely are passionate about makeup and will be supportive to each other. That is what I'm looking for on this platform, and I can find it in all of these people. Um, Heather Austin, she's a newer one to my channel, somebody that I just recently found. Love her. Sabina Stone is another one. She's also different from my kind of content. Um, she's a little bit more, like, minimalistic, but I like that. I like that about her. It gives me some, like, a break from the beauty content every now and then. Still a beauty channel, but it's just done in a more minimalistic type of way. Um, Miss Melissa M. Beauty, I really enjoy her. She's another one that does mostly drugstore makeup, uh, more affordable options, and she's just so knowledgeable. She has, from what I can tell, a really decent-sized collection. She's tried a lot of different things, and I really enjoy her channel as well. Beauty by Ann Chris, she's a smaller channel. She's somebody that I have gotten acquainted with here over the past few months, but she's just a genuine sweetheart and has a really lovely little channel. Samantha Ravendall, if you guys don't know who Samantha is, or Sam, you're missing out. She is a firecracker and I love watching her channel. She's a bigger channel, but hey, we gotta give bigger channels some love too. Alyssa Pope. Alyssa Pope's mom found me on here and 
that's how I found Alyssa. Alyssa Pope's mom, Christy, is like her biggest cheerleader and built, helped her build this community. So I just find that so admirable. And I really enjoy watching Alyssa's vlogs because she hangs out with her family and they just seem so wholesome. Um, she's another one that would have gone well with the whole gives off good vibes category. I really enjoy Alyssa. So again, I'm going to link all of these people and probably more in the description box. Whoever I can fit down there, I'll link. I just think it's really important, especially right now, if we want to see other creators grow, if we want to see them be successful on their platforms, we need to be supportive to those people. We need to be uplifting those people, shouting them out whenever we have the chance. If you really enjoy a creator, give them credit where it's due. Shout them out in a video or... You know, let your friends know about them. If you're not a creator and you're somebody that just watches YouTube, let your friends know about these people. You know, we're all on here for the same reason. We're on here to share a passion. We're on here to meet each other and to build our communities. And, you know, that is what the Real Beauty community is all about. So I had a really good time with this tag. I think that this was such a fantastic idea. I think Kara is such a genius for coming up with this tag. So thank you, Kara, for creating this. So to anybody watching that has a channel, I am tagging you as well. Please create this video. Tag your favorite creators. If you liked this video, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up. It lets me know that you like these types of videos. It also lets YouTube know that people like it, and it'll push my content out there a little bit more for other people to see. I'm very grateful when you guys take the time to do that. If you're not already subscribed to my channel and you like my content, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave. Hit that notification bell, that way you're notified of all my future uploads, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.